Hey, come in. Hello, Dr. Smiles. Hey, how's it going? Hi, Hope nice Smiles. Hope Smiles, nice to meet you. My name's Jessica Williams with ADP. Nice Can you take Jessica. a seat? Yeah, sure thing. Okay, thank you so much. Here's my business card. Can I have one of yours as well? Okay, sure thing. And I know today we scheduled this meeting for 20 minutes. Is that still good for you? Yeah. Yeah. You said you were with ADP or ADT? ADP. Okay. I thought, uh, for some reason, I thought we were meeting with the security company right now. Okay. Um, ADP, you guys do like payroll processing, kind of big company. Do the thing right now? Yeah. So, yep. ADP. Um, have you ever heard of ADP before? Yeah. You know, and not to be brash or anything, but I, I don't really like working with big companies that much. We kind of got burned in the past. Yeah. So, um, you know, I appreciate you coming out, but I don't even know if there's really a big reason why we should meet right now. Okay. I totally understand where you're coming from. And I kind of like to use a little bit of an analogy. Um, I went to Florida State University, and it's a big, big school, 40,000 students. And, you know, I was always really afraid that I was just going to be a number. You know, kind of like how you feel. You don't want to get just be a number to a big company. Well, I was lucky enough to be in a college of in a college of business that really cared about me. It had a lot of very special professors that helped me cultivate my education. And that's kind of what I'm going to do for you as your ADP rep, if that is where we end up today after our meeting. So does that kind of clear up where maybe we can just have the conversation about potentially being business partners together? Yeah, I mean, like I said, we can at least just have the conversation. Okay. It may not hurt to learn about what else is out there. All right, great. Sounds good. So. I couldn't help but chuckle today when I was in the car driving here because I kind of realized that we kind of do the same thing. We're both in the business of smiles. Okay. So you all um, are in the business of making building smiles based on uh, your fantastic dental work. Mm -hmm. And ADP does it a little bit differently. We're in the business of making smiles by taking away the administrative tasks of a small business owner and being able to just let them focus on their business and smile at what they've at what they've created. Yeah. Um, and so that's kind of why I'm here today. So similarly to how you take an x-ray of a mouth to kind of see where the cavities are and just to understand more about what's happening with your patient, that's what we're going to do today with my roadmap. This is going to be our x-ray. So yeah. we'll just kind of start with a little bit about your company, identify where any possible cavities might be, and then if we find solutions together, we can talk about the next steps to making sure that there's an even brighter smile on your face once I leave. Okay. Sounds like a good plan? Yeah, sure okay, great. Good. So when it comes to decision criteria, um, I know that you're the office manager. Is there anybody else that would be involved in the decision? Uh, as far as like new payroll and things like that? Yeah. Yeah, no, I pretty much run the day-to-day -day operations of okay. all the branch. I mean, sometimes I would talk about, you know, big ticket spins with my wife, Dr. Smiles. Okay. But, yeah, for the most part, I'm, uh, I'm kind of in charge. Okay, great. And when it comes to doing business with another company, what is that one key factor that you're looking for when you're doing business with them? Um, I don't know if there's necessarily one key one. I mean, I definitely would probably just summarize it with trust. I, mean, yes. I think there's a lot that goes into that, but... Yeah, just making sure that we're on the same wavelength. Okay. All right. Great. And so, um, just some things that I saw on your website. You all have this one location, correct? Right. Okay. Yep. And then nine employees. Yeah, I think we have nine right now, uh, but we're trying to hire two more. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Great. And then, when you are processing payroll, are you processing weekly or biweekly? Um, so, myself and my wife we do ours once a month but then all of the rest of the team we do weekly okay yeah so then you're doing are you accounting yourself in the nine employees uh yes yeah okay so for seven employees right now you're doing weekly payroll that's okay. right good deal all right so when we're looking at this roadmap, is there any area within here that you'd like to talk about first um i think uh Compliance and taxes would be kind of interesting. Okay, great. Yeah. So, when it comes to human resource compliance, right now, how are you all keeping up with all the changing compliance laws? Yeah, well, not that great. I mean, you know, kind of with the Affordable Care Act, it seems like everything's changing so recently. And uh, I don't know, candidly, I think I'm just kind of ready for a new president. Maybe there'll be some things changing with the laws, be a little bit easier to manage. Because right now, you know, 2015, it's hard to keep up with everything. Yeah. What is so hard to keep up with? Well, it just seems like, you know, there's laws that are changing like every, you know, minute or every second mm -hmm. even, and uh, just hard to kind of get our arms around it. So for compliance and for taxes, I mean, we have an outside firm that we use that kind of helps us with that. Okay. But uh, still, I'm doing a lot of research just trying to figure it all out. Right. So um, I'm going to go two places with this. How much time are you taking researching all of this 
all of these new changing laws all of the time? Um, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, it seems like it's usually after business hours. Okay. Um, so I don't know if there's like a specific amount of time, but it's definitely more than I'd like to. Okay. You know, just more, some more free time after work to right. relax. Spend it with your with your wife and That's not right. have to do business after hours. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And then, so this outside company, have you run into any issues with them and how they're helping you guys stay compliant? Um, well, I mean, we, we had an issue this past year. Um, you know, we've been open in ten, we've been open for ten years of business. We just celebrated our ten year oh, anniversary. Oh, congratulations! Back, and uh, we had our first kind of like compliance tax issue. So we had some fee that we had to pay last year. So it was good that it was only one fee for the first time, but kind of just a little frustrating. Yeah. Could you do you mind sharing with me how much that fee was? Yeah, it was about ten thousand dollars. So we had to make a check to the IRS. Okay. And what was the what was it for? It was just because, you know, we were out of compliance on some things and there were some tax areas that we were missing. So okay. Had to had to spend some more money, you know. Right. And so the outside company didn't catch it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, uh, again, I think that there's probably, maybe they could have, but, um, yeah, we didn't, we didn't identify it. We kind of skipped over it. Okay. So what else could you have done with the $10,000 instead of paying the fine to the IRS? I mean, a lot. I mean, we could have could have reinvested that back into the business to try and help, you know, continue to grow, which is, you know, always kind of exciting for us. So right. spending that money in marketing, you know, and trying to make sure we're getting the most use out of those dollars is really important. Okay. All righty. And so if you could have a way where you no longer had to be fined anymore, would you be interested in that? Yeah. I mean, like I said, you know, only one fine in 10 years isn't bad. Um, right. But yeah, at the same time, it's not fun. So I'm all about kind of mitigating that risk and having the preventive medicine type of thing just like yeah. how you guys do in the dentist office right. okay and so I heard you say that you're looking to hire two more people right now what's your hiring process like um, so I mean I, I kind of run it all uh, I mean I'll try and get people in front of dr. smiles at some point but I'm mainly working through referrals and LinkedIn and just trying to find good hygienists in the area okay. and then bringing them on board, making them an offer, everything like that. Okay. I know currently uh, you guys do a lot of business with children. Mm -hmm. So are background checks something that you are concerned about? Yeah. I mean, since we do a lot through referrals, we kind of get a around it. Um, okay. We don't necessarily do like a third party way of doing background checks. Okay. But yeah, I mean, it's uh, we haven't got burned on that yet, but that would be definitely terrible if anything like that ever happened. Okay, but currently it's not an issue. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty, and then kind of our big chunk of uh, our business, how are you doing your payroll right now? Yeah, so, you know, the whole punch to paycheck process, so to speak, is, mm -hmm. is all through me. So, um, you know, we use a solution called CenterPoint. It's okay. pretty good. Uh, right. It's really simple, which I love. Um, and it helps us just kind of keep on track. and. Uh, like I said, we're pay, doing payroll processing every single week for, you know, the majority of our staff. Mm -hmm. So I'll go kind of, you know, collect the timesheets, put them in, uh, put them into the system, and then actually spit out the checks and go walk around, you know, on Fridays and hand them out to the team. Okay. So how long is that whole entire thing taking you from collecting the time to yeah. passing out the checks? Uh, it's probably taking this about, probably taking me about like two to three hours a week. Two to three hours a week? Okay, yeah. let's just go with two hours a week. Okay. Okay? So two hours a week, and then you're looking at eight hours a month. Yeah. Okay. If you don't mind me asking, how much do you value your time as? Uh, I don't know if I could put a dollar on it, but I uh, definitely would like that time, you know. To go down. Okay, so yeah. if, um, what could you be doing with, if we could give you back, let's just say, you spend maybe 30 minutes a week on it instead of two hours a week. What could you be doing with that extra time? Yeah, well, I would, you know, I'd probably spend it again towards kind of speeding up some of the hiring process, like doing a better job recruiting. And then, you know, with marketing, you know, there's my daughter keeps telling me about these new social media ads we should be doing that are pretty cheap and that could be a, a real good investment of our, of our money or our financial resources. Okay, great. Alrighty, so today what we've talked about so far is just about the human resource compliance and the time that you're spending after hours do right. researching it. Right. We've also talked about your taxes and you guys have an outside company that's helping you. Um, but you know that first time in 10 years you've got that $10,000 fine, which is just, that's not good. You could be using it for other things like reinvesting and marketing, social media and mm -hmm. such.
And also we talked about your payroll and the eight hours a month that you're spending doing that. Yep. We're not really going to put a dollar value on it, but you could be doing a lot more with your time to help grow the business. Mm -hmm. So with all these things being said, would you be ready to hear a little bit more about ADP and how we could potentially help you? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, great. So I have a fun little thing. I like to sum ADP up in three numbers. Okay. One in six, 600,000, and 98%. So the one in six stands for one out of every six employees in the United States gets their payroll run by ADP. So they get a check from ADP, which is pretty cool. And then 600,000 is how many customers we currently have in the United States. Wow. And the 98% to me is the most ast astonishing. Um, they, that's the number of retention rate we have with our customers. So 98% of our customers come back each cycle, each year, to continue doing payroll and all of their other administrative tasks with us. So that speaks to the trust that you're looking for. People trust us with their money, they trust us with their employees, and we have a retention rate to prove it. Okay. So it's pretty cool. So speaking of one of our customers, I have a customer similar to yours in Jacksonville, Florida. It's called the Florge Medical Center. I'm going to write it down right here for you. Okay. And I'm actually going to write down the number. The man's name is Pat Palantino. He is the office manager, just like you. And um, I'm going to write his phone number down for you. Okay. And I have in here a testimonial from him. Um, basically, they have the same issues as you when it comes to taxes. Um, they got their first $10,000 fee, and we were able to help them correct it. So I'll leave this for you to read afterwards. Um, but basically how it worked is we came in and we got all of their tax information, understood what was going on, mm -hmm. and we were able to make sure that every time there was a change in the law, which there is a lot of, mm -hmm. we could send it out to them right away. So there was no more, um, you know, kind of the guessing game mm -hmm. or anything like that. So they got their $10,000 fines no longer happening anymore. Yeah. And so that could also be something that would be beneficial for your company as well. So could you see where you could take the $10,000 to no longer have that fine and reinvest it right back in to grow the business more. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, great. And then next we talk about human resource compliance and you know all the changing things with the Affordable Care Act mm -hmm. and everything that's going on. It works the same as the taxes. We're gonna always be there for you to send out the new OSHA certified things, the new things for any type of insurance changes, anything for the Affordable Care Act. Hmm. Each day we'll send you out a new tip or a new anything to make sure that you stay compliant. Okay. And the best thing about both of these is that if there ever is a problem and you do end up getting fined and it was on our end that we didn't take care of it, we will cover that fine for you. So we kind of give you an extra layer of protection so that your money can be best spent where you want to spend it, okay. not having to pay back to the government. That's great. Okay? All right, great. And then next we're just going to talk about payroll processing. And the great thing is that what's going to save you so much time is that we're going to do it on an app. Okay. It's called the ADP Run app. Got it right here. Okay, we're just going to view the demo today. Okay. And you're going to be my, my finger toucher, so you get to go through all this with me. Okay. So this is going to be the screen that pops up. You'll be able to access this from your iPad, from your phone, from your desktop computer, any other device that you could try to pull up the app on. Okay. Um, so basically, you'll come right in, and let's say it's Friday, the day you're going to run payroll. Mm -hmm. So you're just going to go ahead and click the payroll button for me. Okay. Where is right, that? Right there. Kind of bad eyes. Oh, there you go. Okay, okay perfect. And so it's going to pull up exactly where you're at in the payroll process. So you go ahead and push regular right there. Okay. Technology. <laughs> okay. So it'll pull up your check date, start date, end date. You can turn direct deposit on or off. So if your employees choose to get direct deposit, you can go ahead and do that. Right down here, you're going to go ahead and click resume. And the best part is, is you'll be able to see. So this is your employees. So you and your wife, you said you guys pay yourselves monthly. Mm -hmm. So you can set that up in here to pay your employees weekly That's and to good. pay you all monthly. So there won't have to be any like two different systems or anything like that. Okay. But this is a list of all your employees, your hourly, your salary, everything like that. So you go ahead and push preview for me down there at the bottom. Calculate. Okay. So now it's going to show you a complete uh, summation of everything that has happened so far. you got a cash requirement, so you'll know about how much you'll need to run payroll for that period. Mm -hmm. And it shows you your employee taxes and your payroll taxes. And this is a nice little feature that is good for a lot of business owners. You can see your liability reports mm -hmm. right away. So that's really nice. Okay, so all you have to do is click Approve. 
right down there at the bottom. Okay. And then approve one more time, and your payroll is done. Okay. Okay? So that whole process of having, you know, to, to collect the time cards and then put them in and then run the checks and fill the checks, this all does it for you. Okay. So we'll set up a system where they'll clock in, the, all the clock in, we'll dump right into this app, yeah. and it'll be all at your fingertips available to see, and then you just click a few buttons, and in two minutes, your payroll is paid. Okay. Okay? Some of that seems a little bit, I don't know, I mean, there's, the buttons aren't that hard to press, but some of it seems a little complex. All that we have is, you know, I just have a little scanner, and I put the time cards in, and then it's on the computer, so I'm kind of familiar with that system. Mm -hmm. I don't know, is it very hard to learn that whole process like that you just demonstrated? I'm a little nervous about that. Yeah, um, tell me more. Why are you Why are you nervous about it? Well, I just, I'm, I've been using CenterPoint for like six years now, you know, and so, I mean, I know we have an iPad at the house, and I don't really have like a great, like, you know, use of apps or anything, so I just say I'm not sure what, you know, what to expect when using a new system and yeah. everything like that. I can totally understand where you're coming from with that. It actually is extremely easy to use. Uh, when I came into training six months ago, they gave this app to me, and it took me less than a week to get it completely okay. um, figure out. It's very user friendly, and it points you in the right directions as you go along. So it helps aid you through. Okay. And then also, I will promise to be available to you whenever okay. you need help. And also, we have a 24 hour customer service. So if there's ever any question when it comes to how to use the app, you can call them, or you can call me, text me, I'll be available to you. Okay. All right? Does that kind of clear up any kind of training issue you might have about it? Yeah, that's good to know. Thank okay, you. great. So with all everything we've talked about so far, the saving you from the fines, saving your time on both the HR, the human resource compliance, and the payroll processing, mm -hmm. would you be ready to talk about the price of the product today? Yeah, yeah? I'd, be, I'd be curious to hear about it. Okay, I don't great. know if I'm ready to, you know, get you a check or anything, but I'd like to at least know what it would look like. Okay, yeah. alrighty. Okay, so you guys are going to fall in the six to ten employee range, so you're looking at right at thirty dollars per cycle. Okay, okay. so. For a month, 30 times times four is $120 a month is okay. how much it's going to cost you to go ahead and just get this implemented. Okay. And there is no contracts for ADP. So mm -hmm. we just, um, we come in, we get your information started, and you don't pay us for the first cycle until it's ran and okay. the checks are printed, okay? Um, there is also a few fees, like startup fees that can be paid out over time. $150 implementation cost and a $200 company fee to get your company ID. Okay. So $350, that can be paid over the span of the lifetime you're with the company. Okay. So it's not too bad. Well, for a small business like us, is there any way to waive the implementation costs or anything like that? I think Center Time did that for us way back in the day. Okay. Um, are you kind of concerned that it might be a little bit too much for y'all? Yeah. I, mean, I just want to make sure. I, I like that you said there's not like a big contract, but just don't like the idea of paying for, you know, an implementation, started fees, you know, things like that. Yeah, I can totally understand where you're coming from. Um, I am not at liberty to answer that question, but I will find out for you and I can I can get back to you about that. Okay. Does that sound good? Okay. So with everything that we've talked about today and the price and then also the benefits that we can offer to you, um, I know you said you're not quite ready to write a check, but um, would you possibly want to just get started with the implementation process? We can give us some of your information and we can kind of get the ball rolling. Because like I said, you don't pay anything mm -hmm. until um, the first cycle is ran. Okay. Um, I think if it's okay, I think I'd like to think about it a little bit more. Um, I definitely like to you know, be very kind of... I want to be make sure that I'm a little skeptical with spending money just to make sure we're spending in the right places. Okay. So, uh, it looks like there's some good benefits, but maybe I'll just think about it for about a week and maybe do you care if I follow up with you next week? Yeah, I mean, I would love to just set up a meeting right now so that we have it set in stone when we'll be able to meet again. Okay. Um, when next week, uh, Thursday at 9 o'clock work for you? Yeah, I think Thursday morning would be fine. Okay. Yeah. And so on Thursday morning at 9 a.m., if we decide, you know, you've, you've thought about it and yeah. all of this still stands, yeah. that, you know, you see the benefit. In this, would you be willing to get started on Thursday? Yeah, yeah, yeah? I think I think that'll be enough time to then make a decision. Okay, well, me. great, great. I look forward to meeting with you again next Thursday. Like I said, I have a lot of information in here. Feel free to read through it all. Call any of the people in here. Um, they're all former customers, and they'll be more than willing to vouch for what we've done for them and the benefit that hopefully we can bring to you as well. Okay. All right. Well, That's here's great. this for you. And it was great to meet you, Hope. I hope you have a fantastic day. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, Jessica.
Nice. Thank you. Oh, yay. How much time do you have left? I have 15 seconds left. <laughs> Good timing. Yeah. We definitely thought this one was going to be um, 15 minutes long. Yeah. So I've a, been few, a few people said that. A few people... Because in the scenario, yeah. So you're with App Dynamics as well. Yeah. Okay. I had yesterday. I was with Craig from App Dynamics. So small world. <laughs> yeah, very small. World.